All right, guys, like I said, this is part two of the face rating review videos, um, and this is from the YouTuber Nero Angelo. A Angelo. Angelo. I don't know a lot of people named Angelo, so that's why it's so hard for me to pronounce. Uh, so in Nero's video, um, I actually purchased his like highest one, which like comes with a video of him like talking. I'm just going to let that play, and then we'll talk about it after. Hey Johnson, thank you for ordering and giving the extra video explanation option a try. You got a 7.5 out of 10 in terms of the face rating and an 8 out of 10 general rating in the highly attractive range. I will break down each feature pointing out the good and the bad along the way. If you have any further questions, you are welcome to ask me. So starting off with your lower third is pretty solid overall. The mandible is straight and forwardly grown and the chin is also forwardly grown and not recessed which is great. The ramus is lengthy. The ramus is that bone that connects between the ear and the body of the mandible. And the ramus lengths add bulk to the jaw which is desirable. The gonial angle is the angle the ramus makes with the body of the mandible. And we can also call it the jaw angle. For a man the best angle is between 110 to 115. Anything below that the face will look too squarish and anything above that it will either look feminine or steep. The chin to filtrum ratio is average. It should be around 1 to 2.5 for a more rugged masculine look. The jaw symmetry is good but the width seems to be narrow but I suspect it's because of the camera being a bit close to the face. I don't suspect it's this narrow in real life. The mid face ratio which determines how compact your features are is a bit tall around 1 to 0 0.90. And we measure that by calculating the distance between the pupils and we divide it by the distance from the pupils to the upper lip. The cheekbones are higher set which is desirable and the face is lean. We can see hollowing of the cheekbones. The nose looks good for a black man because men of your ethnicity usually have larger noses and it is straight which gives it extra points. The maxilla though seems to be average. For the eyes they are fairly spaced which is the desirable distance. They have a positive tilt with low upper eyelid exposure which is good. They have a great almond eye shape with a good green color which makes them stand out. The eyebrows are full and elongated which is also desirable. The brow ridge is average at best. Your skin looks youthful and clear of acne. The lips are full, the hairstyle is great, the skull and ear shapes are good, but the hairline is a bit round which is not desirable. The neck is thick with decent traps that suits your physique. They don't look overly masculine or overpowering. You are one of those few cases where you are already look max. I usually write at least one or two look max in pages depending on the person. Well in your case you do seem to be young in your late teens I would guess. And we men we fully mature around the age of 25. This is why I recommend you chew and mew harder foods and mastic gum to fully maximize whatever genetics you have left when it comes to the jaw development. There are also quick, non-intrusive jaw widening solutions like dermafillers, but I don't recommend it right now until you can see what can be achieved by the age of 25. Also a beard in the future when you are older will suit your face. It will give the illusion of a wider jaw and it will equalize the thirds of the symmetry because the forehead is long. Other than that you are golden, just make sure your fashion is on point. Thank you for your order and have a good day. So. Got a final face rating of 7.5 and a face rating and a body rating of 8 out of 10. Um, now, Nero actually did another um, thing where he took all the thousand faces and he made a graph. Now, the guys that he rated, you know, 7 and above were like very low, of course, because there weren't, you know, that many. Um, and it was like 6 percent i believe for like the seven and then the eights it was like a one percent so that's just I, i'm up there you know i'm i'm up there i'm in that i'm in that the, i'm in that top percentile um and like i told you guys like yo like i really like work on this stuff and you know uh any flaws that i have or things like that like i work towards it so Weak and strong points, and basically he gave a little summary. You are attractive with an amazing physique. The jaw and chin are forwardly grown. The symmetry is great, but from the angle, the jaw width is a bit narrow. Um, does he explain this? I think he might have explained it. Yeah, I took this with an iPhone camera. Um, the pictures that I sent him, it was just on a tripod, 
and I was pretty close to the camera and if you guys know about taking iPhone selfies and things like that if you are too close it can distort the face and make it look more narrow and make the center point of your face um, a lot bigger um, like it can make your nose a lot bigger and I can show a graph of like what certain camera angles and lenses can do to distort your face so it really depends on the camera angle um, and the lens of how your face can look so the photos that I like took that I sent to him I was actually sending to a casting um, so I was just like oh well I'll just I'll just send it to him as well you know what I'm saying and let's see you know what happens um, I'm gonna say this like before I always like send this stuff I know that everybody is different and everybody's going to give you a different, you know, rating and things like that. So I was just like, well, what if this guy's rating is like totally off? And, and I've done other face ratings than just Wheat Waffles and Nero. I've done other face ratings and things like that. And, and I can do those if you guys want me to. Um, but, uh, you know, so I was just like, oh, like, damn. You know, it's just like, hmm, what if he rates me like really low? Honestly, I saw that it's a good thing because I was, you know, not, not not a good thing. It's not a good thing. But I said, you know what? Somebody tells me my flaws and maybe I could work on them. Because why? That's the first law of power. Make more enemies than friends. Not saying that, oh, now this person is my enemy. But your enemies or, you know, things like that. Or maybe this might not be applicable because these people don't know me personally. A lot of times... When somebody tells you what's wrong with you, sometimes they may not be trying to hurt you or, you know, things like that. But when they tell you your flaws, it just means that you can work on them, you know. And I said that in the last video, too. Just means that you can work on them. But, um, you know, my hard work has, play, has paid off, you know, and certain things that I do and things like that have really paid off. And um, also the social interactions that I've gotten, bro. I cannot tell you, bro, every time that I go out, people always ask, oh, are you a model? Are you a model? Are you a model? Are you a model? Like it always, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the intention always happens. And I touched upon this in the last video too. If I go out to parties and things like that, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just stand there and look pretty. And usually the shot, <laughs> I just stand there and look pretty and the shawties would just come up to me, okay? And like, that's just, that's just what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? I do play with the cards that I'm dealt with, but also like I've worked really hard and I've done a lot of things in order to do this. And if you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and look at my channel and look at all the research and, and the shit that I'm doing. Things like that. So, yeah. Um, okay, so here, here we go. The mid-face ratio is a bit tall, but the cheekbones I hire set with a good nose for your ethnicity. Now, the mid face ratio is a bit too tall um and i would like to say that is because of the camera angle and it being taken on iphone and i need to have more experience with iphone cameras i always have experience with like you know the professional you know photographer cameras and things like that so like i know how to angle my face with that but with iphones i'm fairly new to it um cheap bones are higher set um, I'm going to tell you the reason why they're higher set compared to what we Wheat Waffles had said, saying that they were slightly lower set, is because I went in for uh, a little bit more filler in my cheeks, and I remember Dr. Kato had actually placed it a little bit higher. So this actually gave me like a slightly higher set cheekbones. So um, let's just say like there's a difference like when, when I do those certain procedures that like made my cheekbones a little bit more higher set. Nose is good for your ethnicity. So this scale and the ratios that um, that people use in order to measure your attractiveness and things like that, um, they're gonna be different for every ethnicity because every ethnicity comes with their, you know, certain set like facial structures and certain like um, distinguishing features. Um, of course, African Americans, like black people, they're gonna have bigger noses. So like you can't fault them for having a wider nose. Pretty much how like your brain is like, oh, that person's probably uh, African American. Even if somebody's mixed, you could be like, oh, that person's mixed. But sometimes, most of the times you can tell because the shape of their nose. Like my mom, my mom is half Italian and I can tell that like she's half Italian. I mean, not only because of her skin tone, but also like her nose looks, you know, Caucasian. Like it doesn't look like a black nose. 
Anyways, uh, the eyes are, are a strong point. They are fairly spaced with a positive cancel tilt and they are deeper set with a good uh, color. So let's talk a little bit about the eyes. The eyes are a strong point. Um, Nero says that my eyes are a strong point. Weebob says that mine is like the biggest weak point. Now I believe that he said that my eyes are a strong point probably because of the color of them. You guys don't know, I do wear color contacts and that's probably what really uh, help me out as well like with this rating but I'm gonna tell you this right now when it comes to freaking color contacts are you like oh well all I gotta do is just put it on color contacts and I'm gonna be a fucking I'm gonna be a fucking jet like no <laughs> like like I'm trying to tell you there's a lot more shit and you can't just do this one thing you know what I'm saying like you can't just do this one thing that's gonna help you out there are multitude and just hella shit that you gotta do like it's not just one thing, so don't be a fucking idiot. Like for real, like like don't don't think that oh I'm just putting contacts. Now do they help? Yeah, but they're not gonna like carry you. <laughs> don't like don't don't do that. Yeah, honestly the color contacts of course hell yeah I get a lot of compliments in my eyes. I'm gonna tell you right now, nobody thinks that they're like color contacts. Like it it fits with me very well and it suits me very well. And yeah, I'm gonna say that yeah. <laughs> Oh, so humble. I don't care. <laughs> I'm a fucking dickhead. Um, yeah, I do get a lot of compliments on my contacts. Yes, they're colored. Do I tell people that they're contacts? Hell yeah. I have a, I have a fucking YouTube channel, stupid. With, like, yo. <laughs> I, have a, I have a fucking YouTube channel. Why the fuck would I lie? I have a fucking YouTube channel, me reviewing these contact lenses, and always telling you guys, yes, they are contact lenses. What the fuck do I look like if I if I tell somebody, oh, yeah, no, I was born with these. It would make no fucking sense. It would make no sense. That's like somebody, that's like me saying, oh, yeah, my hair naturally gets blonde at the top from the sun. Like, no, <laughs> I go to the fucking hair salon. Like, and this is how you know, like, the eyes are super, super important to your attractiveness because... You know, people always got something to say like, oh, he wears color contacts or, or he wears color contacts, da, 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 this and that. And, you know, of course, some people gonna have a fucking problem with it, but nobody has a problem with me dying my, well, some people do have a problem with me bleaching my hair, but it's not like, I don't know the word to describe it. Offensive, is that the word for it? I don't know, whatever, but I'm not gonna get too deep into that. Uh, you could use your brain for that. Uh, the eyebrows are full and elongated, which is good. The skin is clear and glowy. Uh, eyebrows, told you guys in the last video, microbladed. The lips and hair are full, but the hairline is a bit round with a tall forehead. Again, probably the angle of the iPhone and also, cause I, I do have a pretty big forehead. It's also curved. Told you guys this in the last video. Um, I, I, I would definitely get a hair transplant once I get the money. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 so so I definitely like that. Uh, you seem to be young with some more room for facial development in the future. Now, he, uh, I guess he thinks that I'm young or like I'm a, I'm a teenager, which, you know, I, I, I do appreciate that, you know what I'm saying, but I am 25. Uh, but, you know, with Botox and, and fillers and these non-invasive things that I'm doing, I am preserving my youth and I am trying to maintain and possibly ascend a little bit more. Let's talk about this ascension thing too. I'm gonna tell you, um, I was not always like this. Like I, I was, honestly, I got the exact opposite attention. Like I used to, I don't even wanna get too deep into it, but like there was just not like nothing like yo if you told me that I was a model and I feel like a lot of adults say this like oh if you told me I was this I'd be like oh no fuck you you're crazy <laughs> like no nah, but seriously I would be like what like yo this like like if I would have told my like 12 year old self this I would just like yo I was literally crying because this bitch called me so ugly and you're telling me I'm a model like, like, you know what I'm, like, it was, it was hard. Like, I, I used to have it hard, my nigga. I used to have it hard. And this is why I take so much, like, time and effort. And this is why I put so much work into this shit. Is because, like, I've been there and I hate it. <laughs> and, like, I don't like it. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, and not only that, but like it, it's, and I don't do this out of fear. I don't do this out of, oh, what if somebody doesn't find me attracted to blah, blah, blah. I don't do this out of fear. I do this out of love. And I do this because I like the way that I look and I, and I want to look into the mirror and be like, yo, I fuck with that guy. Like, yo, I like that. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole different story when you look into that mirror and you're like, oh, I hate how I look. And it hurts even worse when somebody says, I hate how you look. It's a different story when you look into that mirror and be like, hey, yo, I'm, damn, I'm sexy as a bitch. And then you go out there and you be like, man, I don't, man, you know, or, or like if a girl, you know, says something stupid or whatever, it don't even matter. Like, it, it barely even phases you. You know what I'm saying? But when you look in that mirror and be like, yo, I'm sexy as a bitch. And when a bitch be like, yo, you sexy as a bitch, it'd be like, that'd be the best feeling ever. You know? Uh, <laughs> anyways, um... I barely, we barely even got into this, into, uh, into the reading. There you go. Lengthy, Re my jaw, lengthy Ramus. I love my Ramus. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I, I love how long my Ramus is. <laughs> um, you guys already know, I, it, you know, with fillers, things like that, they enhance uh, the Ramus. Um, I'm actually going to get my Ramus touched up probably about a month or so. Uh, straight and forwardly grown mandible. As you guys can see from that side profile, um, things are forwardly grown. If you ever seen like a recessed max maxilla, a recessed maxilla, um, and like a recessed jaw and a recessed chin, you're not gonna find that very attractive. Tight hyoid skin. These are digitals, so yeah, I am gonna mew. <laughs> like I am going to have perfect tongue posture with this, and especially with. Um, you know, a side angle shot. And that's what you learn from modeling too. It's just like putting the the tongue, putting your tongue on the roof of your mouth and holding it up there tightly. This is how you can tighten up that hyoid skin. It's that underneath skin. Obviously this isn't gonna work if you're too fat. Even when you get down to this low body fat percentage and even like, you know, I have very little uh, loose hyoid skin. But even if you do, you know, have very little, this can definitely boost you up and it can make the mandible look straighter. Chin projection is at 4.5 out of 5. If you guys have seen my other video on how I talk about my chin filler and what makes a chin attractive, the chin, bro, the chin is so powerful. It is such a powerful feature. If you look at any attractive face, you're going to see like, yo, they have a really good. Now you're going to say, yo, they have a really good chin. Um, and say if you look at an unattractive person, you're probably going to notice that they don't have a very good chin. Say if you take an attractive celebrity and take away their chin, like somebody, we could even use a woman as an example. If you take away Angelia Jolie's chin, she's not going to seem as like, oomph, like as attractive, but it's because she has that very nice, strong chin. Her jaw is really like the focal point of like her face and a lot of people like recognize her from like her good jaw, but it's that chin that really brings it in together. I get Botox and filler in my chin. Um, I get the Botox to prevent chin dimpling and also when you get Botox, it can also help with that chin projection that he's talking about. Um, gonial angle of around 115. Um, they said my angle is like it, it's not like 90 degrees but it's definitely a little bit wider uh chin to filtering ratio is a one to two now this is what i know is like a, a pretty it is a weak point of mine it is like it's the height of my chin i would love to increase the height of my chin as you guys know i want to do as many non-invasive procedures as i can um when it comes to that I believe the most effective way is to do a genioplasty. I think that's, it may not be OD. If it's like a two out of five, three out of five, it's, it's kind of average. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm not that insecure about it, but I, I am aware of it being like a one to two, which is like a pretty small chin height. Of course, it would cut like, you know, for it to look a little bit more masculine, and to make it a little bit stronger, a genioplasty would be worth it. And I'm also thinking that like a chin implant could help as well. Um, chin filler, um, chin fillers, I could keep on doing it, but it would just be like really expensive. But I don't know, I'm looking into it. 
those are the options that are going through my head. I might continue to just do the filler and Botox, uh, but either a chin implant or a genioplasty is probably up. Uh, jaw third symmetry. Um, basically just the right and left side symmetrical. Uh, jaw width 3.25, um, which may be narrow now probably because you know Botox and a masters things like that can make it more narrow but uh honestly for me i've seen my face like a one-to-one -one, like the jaws is you know wide you know had the you know the brad pitt ratio one-to-one -one. i don't really like that on my face i like the lower third of my face to be a little bit narrow but i do see what he's saying like especially with this it's just like it looks too narrow especially like with the iphone camera things like that important facial features the mid face uh mid face ratio around one to nine uh i think that's yeah it, it is a bit tall i could definitely see that you know what i'm saying I, I i could definitely see that even without the iphone camera i could definitely see how like uh that mid face ratio is a little bit too tall um and i think that has to play into the uh the chin the chin height um, because my filtrum, uh, the chin filtrum ratio, this filtrum right here, like from the base of my nose to the top of my lip might be a little bit too long. Um, it could be shortened and I could help out with the, with the chin ratio too, but most importantly, that could help out with the mid face ratio of it being too tall. High set cheekbones, um, talked about that before, dovetailing hollow cheekbones, uh, we will, you know, same thing, dovetailing. You know, it's nice, not too hollow. Uh, maxilla growth, average. Uh, nose width to face, average. Uh, nose size, average. Uh, nasal lab labial angle around 98%. Uh, a little bit above average or, yeah, a little bit above average. Uh, no straightness, five out of five, nose projection, four out of five, no symmetry. Eye spacing around one eye apart, canthal tilt is positive. Um, I'm surprised that he said positive. I've always thought they were neutral. I don't think that I have that, that inner canthus, like that pointy intercanthus that a lot of people have. They're like really attractive. Like I said, my eyelids are pretty curved. Um, so with it being positive, I don't think they're positive. I, I definitely think like in real life, they're more neutral. Um, there are different types. There's positive, there's neutral, and then there's negative. Negative is probably the, you, you don't want negative. You, you definitely want to fix negative. Um, but I definitely think mine are neutral. Uh, upper eyelid exposure is low. The upper eyelid exposure, I remember I used to, look, let me tell you something about the upper eyelid exposure. I used to pull the light skin face all the time. Like, used to be like, you know, I used to pull that light skin face all the time. Uh, you know, I don't know, you know, you know what's crazy is that I don't know what it was, but how come, like, it would just like, all the pretty boys, you know, like, even even if you weren't light skinned, like it didn't matter if you were light skinned or not, bro. Like if you were a pretty boy, like you would pull that fucking face. But it's just like, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, why did we pull that face, bro? But I remember looking in the mirror and just being like, yo, like, I actually liked, you know, like that 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 light skin face like on me for for some reason. I don't know. But all of a sudden now it's like Oh no, no upper eyelid exposure. And uh, you can see it now too. Yeah, which like with, with most models, it's like the eyebrows low and it gets more of like that hunter eye look, you know, things like that. Uh, but I just think that's funny and I just want to know the psychology behind that. Like I, I, w I wish somebody could, could I do that? Like, like the, like do some research on like why the light skin face was in. Like why, why did we do that? Uh, Skrella show. Uh, so, Nero says none. We Waffle says a lot. You know, and this is why, because, like I said, these were digitals. So, like, I'm gonna, like, pull the, like, my model face. Like, I'm gonna pull my Zoolander model face, of course. 
Um, I'm going to make sure that my, my tongue is at the roof of my mouth. I'm going to squint. I'm going to make sure that like my eyebrows are low. Like I'm not going to pull a light skin face on my, <laughs> in my digitals. Um, so yeah. And, and, and I think I sent this to him after I did, you know, a little bit more research. Cause there was, this was like months from like the, uh, the rating that I got from wheat waffles. So it was like. I implemented a lot of things, um, just little things, uh, especially with the eye area and even with my photo shoots and things like that. I squint, Max. Like, like I squint a lot, and that's because like I know that like the shape of my eyes is kind of like a weak point. You know what I mean? Um, so, I, eye depthness in a skull. Uh, so deep set eyes. I know that like you know of course I don't have like really masculine eyes. Uh, they're definitely more feminine. Uh, eye color is green. The contacts. Uh, eyebrow fullness, 5 out of 5. The microblade. Eyebrow tilt, neutral. Brow ridge, protrusion. It says it's average at best. Definitely could be protruded out a little bit more to show more masculinity. Eyebrow distance from the eyes. I don't think they're too, you know, this or that. Um, general analysis, skin youthfulness, 5 out of 5. I think the Botox and the skincare routine, skin acne level low, but you know, Botox, skincare, face body fat low, diet, uh, equal thirds of the face, good. Like I said, I have a big forehead, but again, like it's equal thirds of the face, like, you know, like it, it's not all the way, all like it's not crazy, but if somebody wanted to like really be like a hater, and you know things like that. They could they could be like, oh, you big ass forehead. Oh, you boy, your hairline, blah blah blah, this or that. And I said in the last video, I'm on finesse ride. Twenty five years old. Barber does not touch the front of my. <laughs> the barber does not touch the front of my hairline. Do not put them clippers near my hair because you will push me back. Do not get no. Boy, I'm a. I ain't gonna have a. I ain't gonna have a straight hairline till I'm 30 as funny as that sounds <laughs> until I get my hair transplant um ain't that funny like now <laughs> like man like nah like don't touch my hairline till I'm 40 like what like you ain't gonna have hair but nah. on the contrary my friend lip fullness 4.5 out of 5 the lips, yes, I, I like my lips now. I, I used to hate them when I was younger, but maybe I grew into them, I don't know. Hair fullness, five out of five. Skull shape, four out of five. Ear shape, 4.5 out of five. Here's something about the ear shape, bro. Which I thought he might have said something about it. I have really small ears. At the end of the day, nobody really cares about the ears. And that was something I used to get made fun of a lot. Like, it's like children. Like, oh my God, when we were kids, like they used to make fun of me for my really small ears. As I got older, I started to like them. Cause like, I'm just like, these Jones look different. Like they look like elf ears. Like they look really small and I like them. Uh, facial symmetry, four out of five. Definitely four out of five. Cause that, that, as you guys can see that one, that fucking eyebrow, it's, it's gotten a lot better. <laughs> you guys don't know about my fucking eyebrow. Uh, I'll talk about it in my microblading video. Um, but that, that one eyebrow on my right side, it's a little bit lower, the left one's higher, or whichever one's higher or lower, I don't know. But it's been a while since I got in Botox um, in my forehead, and that usually helps out a lot. Um, it's helped out a lot, the Botox has helped out a lot, but I could tell when I need to get it retouched because that one eyebrow starts to act up. Hairline, three out of five, we already talked about that. Don't, don't even talk about it. Neck thickness, 3.7 out of 5. So it's not too skinny. It's not too thick. Um, it could be thicker. It could be thicker. It could be. Uh, but to be honest, um, I never really thought about neck. Like I should probably do some neck training. Why not? I just don't want my neck to be too damn thick. Like, I don't want to be, like, I don't want to have a, thick ass neck not only that but like it matches my body like my body's not like i'm not like some diesel motherfucker you look at me like i i i honestly look like a high schooler a little bit like i'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you like i, I kind of look like a high schooler a little bit 
And my body's like, I'm really skinny. Um, so the last portion is improvement advice. You are already attractive, so there's barely any room left for improvement. But as you are growing with whatever years you have left of facial development, you should practice chewing harder foods and mastic, mastic gum to widen the jaw some more and practice mewing. And if you are not already doing it to maximize your jaw. So you guys don't already know. I mean, mewing has some truth to it, but it is not an end all be all it is not going to like give you like super crazy like transformations like some people on here i don't want to get too deep into it but basically um for me and you know like when it comes to hard foods and basically uh he's kind of like telling me to widen my jaw and uh, the like the filler definitely helps widening the jaw a lot uh will i get implants in the future maybe maybe so i don't know but as as for now uh the fillers really help and for me with my jaw like and for my body like it only lasts for about like a year um l probably less than that honestly so uh they really help out uh so um and according to him too like and you guys are like oh you're gonna be overfilled blah, blah blah i'm very conservative like i do like half a syringe at a time um because like after filler when you get swollen that shit is a little scary <laughs> uh, so it takes a while for it to settle in um so like i said i i you know i get touch-ups and then you know I, I do this and that so like fillers help widening out the jaw botox helps narrow out the jaw fillers help widen it botox helps narrow it a little bit so um that's why i like that balance of botox and filler um in the future, beard mix with your hairstyle to add symmetry back to the face and to take attention away from the forehead. A quick solution to also widen the jaw is through derma fillers. Oh, would you look at that? But in my opinion, you should let yourself mature to the age of 25. Oh uh, yeah, th this is also how I knew like he didn't know I was, I was 25 first before considering such decisions. I'm already ahead of the game, bro. <laughs> I'm already ahead of the game. Um, I like the beard example that he gave me too. And that's also ironic because like the beard is like, like I, I, I hate the way a beard looks on me and, and I hate what the beard did to my face. Like the beard completely ruined like my skin tone. Like it made it a lot darker, gave me razor bumps. You guys know about all the problems that a freaking beard gave me. And so a lot of people are like, oh, you should grow a beard. Like, no, you should grow a beard. Like, I fuck, it. ugh. No, no, like, no offense to Nero. Like, this is just to everybody in general. Like, when people suggest, like, to grow a beard, like, I don't like, I just personally, personally, for my body, I just don't think a beard would suit me. There are hella guys out there that could pull beards, and you guys look great with beards. Okay, you guys look great with beards. Me, I don't like beards. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I don't like the way they look on me. Um, would it, you know, add masculinity to the face? You know, things like that. Yes, but I don't, I just don't like that look. I don't want to go for that look. Just me personally, I just don't want that look. Um, uh, and I'm getting my beard lasered off in order to help out with the razor bumps and, and the uh, the skin there like what the fuck like nigga did I just glitch the skin like, maybe I just can't say that word the skin irri irregularities skin ir I haven't eaten all day <laughs> it's almost four o'clock I haven't eaten all day um you guys know what I'm trying to say the the skin imperfections um that came with my beard i was not dealt a good hand with a beard <laughs> i was not i i was not and i'd be damned if i like be like oh maybe i'll take the hair transplant like it just nah like i just don't want i just don't i just don't want a beard like nah i don't like a beard on me on me on me on me you guys look good with beards just not me all right, so, yeah. So, that's the end of the video, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. And, yes, when these guys are giving you face ratings and even when you hear something bad or any flaws about you, you can fix it. 
a lot of you guys think that all hope is lost or this person is just telling you this because of, you know, trust me, these are things that help you. Um, they say, you know, something bad. A lot of times there are some truth to bad things. And sometimes, I'm not saying all the time, a lot of times it's just motherfuckers being haters and just trying to bring you down and just trying to, you know what I'm saying, just trying to attack you for no reason. So just have that sense of discernment of like what you can listen to and like w like what's hate and like what hate has some truth to it. Like what has some validity to it? Like what is it? So um, I said uh, I'm really uh, impressed by this guy. I'm, I'm impressed by his YouTube channel. And uh, I also want my followers to go over to his channel. I mean, he probably doesn't even know I'm putting on this, out this video. But to show my appreciation to him, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, this isn't like a collab video or anything like that. But like, in, in order to show like my appreciation to him and, y you know, like to tell him like, yo, to keep going. Um, this, is, this is the universe and God's way of like giving him the green light. Like, yo, keep going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, and uh, go out there and help out other people and help out the guys just how you've done with me. So um, thank you, um, you know, for your for your service. And also thank you guys for watching this video. And also thank you guys for the amount of support that you give me. And if you're not subscribed to the video, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And uh, as always, stay ready so you got to get ready. Peace.